Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with a new 12 by 12 process video for Confessions of a Paper Edit Cut Files and I'm using one of the January release cut files, it's called Layerables uh, Stars <laughs> um, and this one is uh, one of my newest ideas, um, I did release a snowflake one um, over Christmas um, on one of my YouTube videos uh, for free, that's now, lo now only available from the shop um, but you, have, if you were lucky enough to grab it, woohoo! Um, so, what the idea of these layerables are is that you can um, layer up and choose the bits and pieces of the cut file that you want to use. You could end up with like three cut files or two cut files, or just do whatever you like. And the background is this kind of um, line that can be drawn with a pen. You could even cut it out if you wanted to. You can do anything. Um, but I've chosen to foil mine with my foil quill on my Silhouette Cameo. So the background, there we go, we've got some gold foiled stars. And then I've got this, uh, the actual cut file, which is the larger star with some other stars. And then there are a couple of smaller stars that you can cut out. You can either cut them out of those solid stars or you can cut them from pattern paper. You can do anything. I've cut those smaller ones out of some pattern paper and I'm using the Vicky Booten Color Study collection um, for this layout. It's nice and bright and colourful and so that's why I pulled out my Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to do some mixed media on the background and I'm just going kind of almost rainbow-ish and I've just chosen colours that would work. So I think maybe, I think the orange is Spice Marmalade and then we've got <coughs> Festive Berries picked raspberry I believe, evergreen bow, there might be a sage in there, that other green, <laughs> no that, that other one was peacock feathers, blue mermaid lagoon, yellow I think is scattered straw, maybe, you guys will probably be able to see, and then there's sealess preserves in there as well, faded jeans also, yeah, hopefully you guys can read, just pause it and read the, read the ink colours, there we go. <laughs> So just smushing the ink pads onto some plastic packaging, adding some water and then smushing their packaging onto the background. And the gold foiling still shines through, there's no trouble with that, um, no lifting or peeling of it, it um, just works beautifully. So just adding some additional bits and pieces there and now I'm going to come through and I'm going to do some splatters because they have kind of somewhat dried. So just picking one colour and kind of each little we're going to call them blobs, <laughs> so we've got yellow down there, I'm going to go for pink up in this top left hand corner and just kind of sprinkle that all over the background and then I'm going to go with the faded jeans down this um, blob <laughs> on the um, bottom right hand corner, there we go really like that. I'm going to add in some gold of course because we've got some gold foiling, there's a bit of gold in this collection so just bringing out my Gunzai Tumbi, starry colours, watercolours and um, just chosen a gold out of that and sprinkled that around the page as well. And we are done. Just clean up my mess a little bit. And I go ahead and I just I leave that to dry while I work at backing the cut file. I'll just put my inks away first. <laughs> okay, so I can pull out the paper pad. I had an idea of what I wanted to use. There's a really bright, colourful pattern paper in here. There we go, that's the one. I love this paper. I'm going to go ahead and use sections of that to back those uh, smaller open stars. So where there is uh, kind of pink or reds and one of those blobs on the background, I'm going to back those stars with those colours. There we go. Just trim the excess off. And then I'm going to go and head to the same for like greens and then blues and yeah. So I just glue it to the pattern paper, trim around it, let it dry, and then I just trim the excess off. Pretty simple. And don't make you watch that whole process. So there we go. I've got a couple of stars <coughs> that I cut out of um, pattern paper when I was cutting this cut file. 
and I'm just popping them up on foam and they're going to go on top of those solid stars just for a bit of dimension, a bit of interest. So pop them in place. And my background's not quite dry. I'm just going to dab up those really wet spots um, with a paper towel. And then I'm going to run it through my A3 laminator a few times just to flatten it out. Um, I'm not going to sit and wait for this to dry overnight with some paper pads on it. I'm too impatient for that. <laughs> so I like to use my laminator. If you've got one, definitely take advantage of it. It's a great tool. I think that's, I don't think I've actually even, oh no, I have laminated. I've laminated some glitter <laughs> together um, in a laminating pouch, but I haven't actually laminated a document with that laminator. Um, but so far, I haven't killed it, so we are going good. Okay, so I've, I've run that through the laminator, backed my cup well with some foam, And now I'm just adding ATG and glue and I'm going to go ahead and pop that in place on my page. So a little bit of dimension there. I'm just going to sit that. I do wait for a little bit for that to dry, that wet glue. Come back, that's nice and dry. And I'll just put out the 6x8 paper pad. I want to back my photo with something. So it's a photo of Eddie holding a certificate from school. I think it might have been the principal's award. Um, quite proud of that. So we will just trim off the excess, just a nice thin border of purple because it's down by that kind of purpley blue section. And I'm going to pop my photo pretty much just about where it's sitting. I mean, you could you could have backed that large star as well. I mean, you can do this cut file any way you want, like. The options are endless. I just wanted that mixed media peeking through. I like the idea of it. So, just back my pho um, photo with a little bit of foam. And now, just thinking about a title. And I saw this amazing in black, and I thought that's going to be perfect. So, I'm going to get that down onto my page and I'm going to curve it just around the bottom there. It sits there really nicely. I thought there might have been some stars on that sheet, but there wasn't. So, I'm just going to flick through the die cut packs die cut pack um, and see what I can find. So we've got a lovely little tab which I'm going to get on the page. There's some really really big bits in this die cut pack and I'm struggling to use them. Okay, I like the idea of that little banner. I couldn't make it work though. flowers I do try some flowers they don't quite make it on again they're really large I do really like this vellum paintbrush but though that the rainbow colors really work with this layer and I found that with the journaling spot with the paintbrushes but then I thought oh, I don't know I don't know whether it stays and a couple little phrases I'll get them on paint tubes I found a green one there we go perfect we'll pop it down that bottom left hand side Okay, a quick look through the sticker sheets. <clears throat> and I found another little phrase that I'm just going to stack on that bigger star and another smaller one on top of it. Another little black one on top of that. And one down that bottom left hand star. And then onto the sticker sheet. Not really a lot that I pull from this collection. I mean that mixed media is so bright, it's kind of doing all the work for me. Um, but these are some stars, they are from Rosie's Studio. I brought them late last year. There's some really nice pinks and oranges and yellows and greens. So I bring in a few of those, just sprinkle them around. And then these are from Rosie's Studio as well. They're from a newish collection, it's called By Starlight. And there's some blues and purples, so I bring in a few of those and just kind of sprinkle them around. I'm using these, but I'm just suddenly remembering I've got a ton of Pink Fresh Studio ones that I could have used, but never mind. They'll get used. They're not going to go off. <laughs> they may just lose their stick. Okay, I'm going to glue, um, adhere this vellum piece down. I'm just using ATG, um, and you can't see it. <clears throat> go ahead and glue all those other little bits and pieces down as well. A little bit of glue behind my title. 
just to kind of reinforce that, make sure it's going to stay in place. And I just want to add a little bit more. I like these gold arrows, so I'm going to have that. Um, this one kind of pointing to the photo. And I'm just going to glue this one down just to kind of repeat that colour somewhere else on the page. I try the dots. I don't like them so they come off. But that's it for my layout. So I hope you enjoyed the process. Hope you're inspired to give this cut file a go. Look at all that shiny, shiny gold on the background. Uh, but yeah, until next time, bye guys. <laughs>